My name is Dr. Naima Hassan and we will discuss the issues and challenges faced by the teachers as well as students in an e-learning environment. First of all, we will go through some issues and problems you may face in teaching as well as in learning in a virtual institution. Then we will move on to some striking solution to these problems. It is important to know that these issues are not entirely related to virtual teaching as conventional mode of teaching also pose some issues of in its own right. Uh, it, it is important to know that these problems are not entirely related to virtual teaching as conventional mode of teaching also pose some challenges of in its own right. So let's start with issues first. There are some issues in e-learning and e-teaching which includes a lack of ICT related knowledge and experience, lack of basic orientation about the system, accessibility and techn technological issues, teacher-student interaction, and lastly, some psychological challenges you may face during e-learning or teaching. First issue is lack of ICT-related knowledge and experience. Teachers are supposed to attend students virtually. They are supposed to handle bulk information and plan for their teaching strategies online. Not all teachers are accustomed to prior knowledge of computers. They know little about software and its usage. Without proper knowledge of computer and software tools and IT-related skills, it might become pretty difficult for them to teach online effectively. Similarly, students also have to rely on different online platforms for e-learning. And they have to go through uh, LMS, they have to maintain their assignments and quizzes and projects uh, digitally. If students are not well equipped with computer knowledge and software usage, it can hinder their ability to access course-related material. It can uh, make it difficult for them to submit projects, uh, attempt quizzes online in due time. Digital literacy also include knowledge of online security, safety practices, privacy concerns, and responsible digital citizenship. Sometimes while teaching in virtual university, we get a lot of queries from students. Students ask you about how to activate uh, their system, how to uh, get uh, connected on Zoom, how to work on Google Docs, if you get queries related to these issues, you must know students are facing issues related to their experience and knowledge about ICT or computer. So you must deal with them accordingly. Second challenge of e-teaching and e-learning in a virtual environment is lack of basic orientation about system. Students after getting admission in virtual university often complains about the lack of basic understanding about the system. They sometimes don't have idea about how to study at virtual university, where to start their courses, how to uh, manage their uh, classes. And uh, students often ask you uh, through emails or a ticket system or uh, through MDBs that are there any online classes? Uh, where are the teachers? How do I submit the assignments? These are the very basic issues you might come across during your teaching experience in a virtual institution. If student lacks basic understanding about their LMS, they might find it difficult to obtain their course related materials. They uh, find it difficult to uh, handle the semester activities effectively. They don't know about the grading scheme. They don't know about the course calendars. If being a virtual university teacher, you or yourself is not well aware of the system, it will be very difficult for you to guide your students effectively. Next issue is accessibility issue or technological related issues. Not all students have access to reliable internet sources and compatible uh, equipments and softwares. As I have mentioned earlier, virtual university has a diverse population of students. Students are coming from different backgrounds. Students are coming from different regions of the country. Uh, some students are from rural areas. Some students are from urban areas. Many are coming from very far flung areas. 
where students don't have stable internet connection they have proper they don't have proper equipment you get lot of queries related to these issues for example students often uh, ask you about rescheduling of the quiz because uh, they don't have a internet connection at their area uh, they don't have webcam they don't have a laptop to present in viva voz so they ask you about if they can use mobile phones to present in viva voz these issues can disrupt their learning experience lead to missed lesson assignments and cause frustration another challenge of virtual teaching is student teacher interaction we will go through the student teacher interaction problems according to a teacher's perspective first then we will discuss a uh, student perspective as well one of the major issue of uh, student teacher interaction in a virtual environment is reduced proximity virtual teaching removes the physical presence of a teacher leading to reduced nonverbal cues eye contact and proximity to students these factors may make it challenging for teachers to gauge their students engagement att attentiveness and understanding reduced proximity leads to another problem that is distraction teachers face challenges in preventing uh, distractions and maintaining focus among students who may be they at their homes distracted by different potential diversions and distractions they have less control in a class or in a session students often might uh, mute their mics student often mute their mics or they remain busy in talking with the others while joining a session student often sometimes on their cameras or ask their teachers to on their cameras they are busy in doing house chores while joining a session another issue of uh, student teacher virtual interaction is delayed or distorted communication first of all students don't communicate or contact their course instructor in timely manner students sometimes uh, google meet sessions zoom sessions mein join kar lete hain lekin due to internet connectivity issues they don't get their teachers verbatim properly टीचर्स के लिए भी ये समटाइम्स मुश्किल हो जाता है सुनना स्टूडेंट्स को अगर स्टूडेंट एक रिमोट एरिया से ज्वाइन कर रहे हैं और उनके पास स्टेबल इंटरनेट कनेक्शन नहीं है तो बात पूरी तरह से कन्वे नहीं हो पाएगी जिसकी वजह से प्रॉपर इफेक्टिव कम्युनिकेशन नहीं हो पाता मैं नेक्स्ट इशू इज इक्वल अपॉर्चुनिटीज़ फॉर ऑल जैसा कि मैंने पहले बताया कि वर्चुअल यूनिवर्सिटी में एक बहुत डाइवर्स पॉपुलेशन ऑफ स्टूडेंट है स्टूडेंट फ्रॉम डिफरेंट बैकग्राउंड्स एंड रीजन्स दे हैव डिफरेंट एथनिक बैकग्राउंड्स एज वेल सो इट इज़ वेरी डिफिकल्ट फॉर अ टीचर टू मैनेज ऑल द स्टूडेंट्स इन सेम मैनर टीचर्स मे नीड टू अकोमोडेट दैम अकॉर्डिंग टू देयर टाइम जोन एज देयर आर सम ओवरसीज स्टूडेंट्स इन स्पीव प्रोग्राम so they tend to accommodate them uh, according to their time zones their language barriers and learning disability to promote inclusivity one of the basic and major issue of student teacher virtual interaction is difficult rapport building in conventional mode of teaching it is very easy for a teacher to build rapport with their student and vice versa in virtual setup it is uh, might be challenging for a teacher to feel connected with their students or make their students feel connected to their course instructors as there is no face to face interaction uh, it can make it difficult for teachers to est establish a rapport it is difficult for them to address their students emotional needs to address their individual concerns regarding Uh, teaching uh, or regarding course material or regarding any domestic issues student often complains you about uh, they are busy they are disturbed due to some domestic issues they have uh, some uh, family issues so most of the students are jo job holders so they often uh, get to complain about their personal and work life issues if you get queries related to these issues please know that students are in need of some emotional support from their course instructor ye zaruri nahi hai कि आप उनको उनके फैमिली इश्यूज़ को सुने और उनके सॉल्यूशंस बताएं बट अगर आप स्टूडेंट की प्रॉब्लम्स को अटेंटिवली सुन लेंगे तो स्टूडेंट्स के लिए समटाइम्स इमोशनली कनेक्टेडनेस 
फील करना बहुत इफेक्टिव होता है नेक्स्ट एंड लास्ट इज स्टूडेंट टीचर रिलेशनशिप एक वर्चुअल सेटअप में स्टूडेंट टीचर रिलेशनशिप इस्टेब्लिश करना बहुत ही डिफिकल्ट है लेकिन अगर एक कोर्स इंस्ट्रक्टर और टीचर इज अ एम्पथिक टीचर ही और शी कैन बिल्ड अ स्ट्रॉन्ग स्टूडेंट टीचर रिलेशनशिप थ्रू एल एम एस और थ्रू डिजिटल फोरम्स एज वेल नेक्स्ट वी विल मूव ऑन टू स्टूडेंट टीचर वर्चुअल इंटरेक्शन अकॉर्डिंग टू अ स्टूडेंट्स परस्पेक्टिव वन ऑफ दैम इज लैक ऑफ पीयर सपोर्ट वर्चुअल यूनिवर्सिटीज मोड ऑफ एजुकेशन इज ए सिंक्रेनस विच इंक्लूड्स प्री रिकॉर्डेड लेक्चर एंड कॉन्टेंट मटीरियल अवेलेबल ऑन एल एम एस स्टूडेंट टेन टू गेट दीज कोर्स मटीरियल्स एंड लेक्चर्स ऑनलाइन एंड विच रिफ्लेक्ट्स डैट दे हैव मिनिमम कम्युनिकेशन और इंटरेक्शन विद देर टीचर्स एंड विद देर पीयर्स कन्वेंशनल सिस्टम में स्टूडेंट्स को बहुत ज़्यादा सपोर्ट रहती है उनके पीयर से उनके क्लास फेलोज से और उनके टीचर से तो इन वर्चुअल लर्निंग सिस्टम स्टूडेंट मे फील आइसोलेटेड और लैक्स द फीलिंग ऑफ कनेक्टेडनेस विद अदर पीयर्स समटाइम्स स्टूडेंट्स लाइक टू वर्क इन ग्रुप प्रोजेक्ट्स एंड इन वर्चुअल सेटअप मेजोरिटी ऑफ द कोर्स स्टूडेंट हैज टू अटेंड अ लोन और इंडिविजुअली which may lack the interactive element present in face to face learning next issue of student teacher virtual interaction according to student perspective is delayed and incomplete feedback as i have told you earlier that virtual university mode of education is majority in asynchronous mode uh, and students don't get immediate feedback on their assignments and on their quizzes or any other academic related task next issue is delayed or incomplete feedback virtual universities asynchronous mode may reduce the immediacy of feedback from the teachers due to the asynchronous mode of education students may have to wait longer to receive feedback from their course instructor sometimes student need to ask a question when he is uh, watching a video lesson or reading a handout or going through any course related material he needs to ask a question or query from his or her teacher they don't get immediate or instant reply or feedback sometimes uh, teachers uh, don't reply them or don't give their feedback properly they send incomplete or little feedback to the point very brief feedback that can hinder their progress and understanding of the course material sometimes a student ask you about uh, where to find a uh, download where for example student ask you where to find handouts of the course material and teacher replies that you can find it in the download section of the course but they don't tell them where to find that download section in the course on lms so reply and give feedback properly and in complete manner let's move on to some common psychological challenges in e learning and teaching one of the major psychological challenge a teacher or student may come across is social isolation which leads to lack of motivation virtual teaching and learning can be isolating for both teachers and students as well the lack of face to face interaction can lead to feelings of disconnection and isolation which can affect students or teachers motivation to work in virtual environment or to study in virtual environment effectively if i talk about a social isolation according to a student perspective in conventional mode of teaching and learning student get to communicate with their peers with their class fellows very often they communicate with their teachers to stay motivated and feel connected with others so they complete their assignments more enthusiastically it is very difficult for them to work in isolation or individually in a virtual setup similarly it is very difficult sometimes for teachers or the course instructors to work individually they also feel uh, teachers also feel isolated if they don't get to communicate with their students more often this can lead to less motivation and feeling of disconnection in teachers and students as well next issue is procrastination 
A common psychological issue of e-learning and teaching is procrastination. Procrastination is the act of delaying tasks which poses a significant challenge in e-learning and e-teaching. For students, students have to rely on their own to complete their semester activities, to complete their study projects, to study on their own, which often leads to lack of motivation and resultantly they end up in delaying their task. Teachers and instructors also find it difficult to stay motivated and connected all the time. Instructor may also procrastinate on updating the course material or providing timely feedback to the students. It is very difficult for them to handle uh, multiple uh, channels and dif doing different tasks simultaneously, which may lead to procrastination. Lastly, we will talk about burnout as a psychological challenge in e-learning and teaching. Being a virtual teacher often demands extra additional time and effort. For example, teachers are engaged in multiple tasks at the same time. They are designing and engaging lessons. They are handling students from different courses, from different backgrounds. They are also busy in doing some uh, administrative tasks. So it, it is very difficult for them to do all these tasks uh, simultaneously. It can become sometimes very overwhelming for them. The blurring of boundaries between professional and personal life of the teachers may often lead to stress, which consequently disturbs your physical and psychological health. If you are not feeling psychologically fit, it can lead to a decline in your physical health as well. So it is very important to keep in mind that burnout can be very challenging uh, for uh, a teacher in virtual setup when they don't even realize they are experiencing burnout. So it is very important to take care of your psychological well-being as well as your physical well-being for being an effective virtual teacher.